3 to 1.1.1. Uh, in specific, we uh, talking about the Air 1. Um, go ahead and have your uh, plug in your uh, iPod to your computer and open up iTunes. Um, just as a reminder, you'll be holding down your home button and your power button at the same time. Uh, this first way, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the wrong way to do it. Um, so you're going to go ahead and uh, hold both buttons down. Wait a little bit, it'll go ahead and it'll uh, disconnect itself from iTunes as you can see. Uh, normally you're supposed to let go of your power button at this point, but a lot of y'all aren't. And that's why y'all are uh, running into that one or uh, Air 1. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to recreate that air. Hey, sorry about that. It uh, took me twice trying to do it the wrong way in order to actually do it the wrong way. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to restore it. 1.1.1. Open. Let's go extract software. And uh, should be getting air here pretty soon. That uh, the air that y'all are experiencing from uh, holding down the power button for too long. Um, it's a real easy fix. There it is. See, the iPod iPod could not be restored, and I don't know has occurred. One. Like I said, this basically stems from holding down the power button from too long. Um, if this air pops up and it has number five there instead of the number one, um, the error five comes from usually a bad firmware version. Um, if you get the error five, you can go to my website. It's uh, iPodTouched.blogspot.com. If you go to my website. Over here on the right hand side, there's a firmware 1.1.1. Go ahead and download it from here. Because um, usually that's what the Air 5, Air 5 comes from. So this Air 1, like I said, stems from it's a timing issue. You hold down the power button for too long. Click OK. What you want to do is hold down the power button and your home button at the same time and uh, try counting to 10. Um, and after you get to 10, let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. I'm going to go ahead and try it now. Now 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Went ahead and let go of the power button, but continue to hold down your home button. Um, it may take a while. But just continue to hold it. Be patient. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and click OK. Shift, hold down Shift, and then click Restore. Do 1.1.1. Open, and it uh, it'll work this time. Um, just to prove it to you, go ahead and just let it go. Because um, I've been receiving a lot of questions about this air. Um, it's real easy to do. Uh, the counting method works pretty well. You don't have to worry about you know it disconnect from iTunes, trying to at the right time. If you count, you'll get it um, every time. So you can see it's preparing the iPod, the iPod to uh, restore. And your iPod should turn on to that. Uh, it'll go to a blank white screen, and then it'll go to the little Apple symbol. As you can see. But uh, that's how you fix that error. It's real simple. Um, error 5 is a bad firmware. I get it from my website. Um, if you have any, any more questions, go ahead and just reply to it on the YouTube video or make a comment on my website. Um, some have asked how they could donate. Um, I do have the donate button on my website. Those do take a long time. Um, a lot of time and effort not only making the videos, but then editing them and then uploading them to YouTube. Um, but if you all have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm always open for uh, suggestions on 
what to do for the next video. Uh, one other thing, in uh, trying to recreate the Air 1, I somehow managed to get Air 6. Um, I've never seen this Air before, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out how to fix this and add it to this video so that way if anyone comes with this Air, they'll uh, know how to fix that as well. Okay, all I did to uh, fix Air 6 was I uh, unplugged the iPod then I went ahead and just the, uh, put it back in restore mode by holding it down the uh, power button, the home button for 10 seconds. After I did that, I plugged it back in. I just did the uh, regular uh, just shift click, uh, restore, put it, it opened up a 1.1.1. Um, it gave me an error 1. At that point, I went ahead and did the uh, 10 second count thing again. And uh, it worked the second time. So that's it, it's a real simple easy fix for uh, Air 6 as well.